In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the TI-84 graphing calculator to calculate the correlation coefficient, the coefficient of determination, and calculate the linear regression line for a data set. And if you're using a different type of calculator, the, like the uh, 83 or the 85 or whatever version you have, the process will be somewhat similar, but you'll have to find what keys and what buttons you're using to do different stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and start off. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to choose uh, stats. And when this comes up, we have to put data in, so we're going to choose the edit. And you can see this is in the, uh, in the black, highlighted in black, and the number one is the one we want to choose. So we can either hit the number one, or we can just hit enter, and that will bring us to our lists. Now, if you already have data in the list, to clear the list, all you're going to do is go up, and it highlights list number one, which you can see right here. And if you just hit clear and then enter, it'll clear that entire list. So let me go ahead and type in the data for list one. And these are going to be our x variables that we're typing in. And let's go ahead and go over to list two. So you'll simply click the right arrow to go over to list two. And then we'll go ahead and type that data in. These are going to be our y variables. And now that I have those in, I'm going to go back to the stat menu so I can actually do the calculation. So I'm going to click stat. Then when this comes up, we're doing a calculation now. And you can see edit is highlighted. If I click the right arrow on my uh, keypad, it's going to highlight calculate. And then I can either scroll down to number four or I can hit the number four and then hit enter. And I've got linear regression selected. And when I hit enter, it's going to come up. And as long as you don't have anything in list number three, it's automatically going to choose list one or two. Otherwise, I believe it prompts you in order to get uh, what list you want to use. So I'm going to hit enter. And when this comes up, notice it gives us our linear regression line. And it gives us what the a value is, which happens to be the slope. This is in the form y equals mx plus b, where a is in the place of m. And that's our slope. And b, our y-intercept, is 3.3. But notice it doesn't give us our correlation coefficient or our coefficient of determination. And that may be true. So we may have to go back in. We may have to turn something on. So if you go to mode, we will just go ahead and scroll down through mode to get the right uh, preferences set. And when we get down a little ways, you'll see that we get to this uh, stat diagnostics right here, this very second to last uh, um, item in the menu, and we want to turn that on. All right. So you just highlight it so it goes over to on, then you have to hit enter to select it. Now notice that's the one that's highlighted. We can go back in the stat menu. We can scroll over to calculate, and then scroll down to item number four, which is linear regression. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Um, whoops, I hit the wrong thing. So let me go back into stat, uh, calculate, and we want to go to number four, which is linear regression, not quadratic regression. And I'm going to hit enter. And it should automatically s select uh, list one and two. So I'm going to hit enter. And notice now when we do this, it gives us our correlation coefficient of r, our our coefficient of determination, which is r squared. And then it gives us those values for our regression line. So we can write those down. And I think one step further that we need to do is we need to go in and we need to be able to graph these and look at how that line really fits that data. Um, we won't get into what the correlation coefficient is or co coefficient of determination is in this video, but that's how you would get that. So if you wanted to graph this data, what we'd want to do is we'd want to copy down this information so we have our, our linear regression line. And then we're going to go first into stat plot. So I'm going to go to second, um, this y equals button to stat plots. And notice my plots are off right now. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to hit uh, um, enter for stat plots one, and I'm going to turn those on. And then it says uh, what type do we want? We're going to select this uh, this scatter plot right here. We want the x list to be list one and the y list to be list two. And then if we go to graph, we should see those points show up on the graph. And I'm going to change the window so we have a better window to view. To do that, we simply click Window right here. I'm going to change the x scale to um, negative 1 since I don't have any negative values. The maximum I'll change, I'll keep that as 10. That's fine. Um, and then the scale will be 1. The y minimum, I'm going to change that to negative 1. And the y maximum of 10 is fine. 
And then I can go back to graph and you can see that I have a little bit better window to view this in. And then the last thing is we want to see how our regression line fits that um, data that we have. So I'm going to click Y equals and I'm going to type in that information that I had for the regression line. And if you remember we had uh, a negative 0.375 for a slope. So that's going to be times X. And then we're going to have 3.3 uh, as our Y intercept. So this is going to be plus 3.3 and we should have that in there and then if we go back to graph after we type that in maybe we should hit enter first so that way it saves it but then we go back to graph and it's going to plot the line that goes that represents that data remember this is our estimate traditionally in statistics we use this as our y hat our estimate of this data okay so here's our data points right here you can see they're fairly close to the line that's part of the reason why we have a correlation coefficient of negative 0.9 and the reason it's negative is it's downhill it's close to 1 so it means there's a strong correlation and hopefully this helps you you know analyze the data a little bit quicker and check your results when you're doing your hand calculations so good luck with the, the problem sets